Randy Couture, one of the baddest men on the planet. How you doing, champ? Good to see you. Good to see you as uh, always, champ. It's about what Conor McGregor wants to do. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've actually ever met Conor McGregor, which is interesting. He's been in my gym in Vegas, but I wasn't there then. So the guy said he was all great and, and that he was uh, a nice guy. No. <laughs> I was going to ask you about Greg Hardy. Greg if Hardy you can't tell, he's, he's going to be. Greg Hardy is saying that he's going to be one of the best, you know, heavyweights to do it. Well, this is what he's predicting, and he's dreaming of fighting John Jones. How long do you think it'll take for him to be ready to fight someone at that level? No. At heavyweight? At, at heavyweight. Is he. Is, is he John a, Jones going up the heavyweight? I don't think so. So there's still a small problem. Is, is Greg plans right away, right? Yeah. Greg, can Greg Hardy make light heavyweight? Sure. That's, that, that's what would have to happen for them to fight, I'm guessing, right? Unless John wants to go to heavyweight, which yeah. certainly has the height to go to heavyweight. Yeah. He's, he's standing at the top of the heap in the light heavyweight division. So why? Why go to heavyweight other than want to be a two division champion for the heavyweight. Yeah, I see. I don't know. There, there, well he did he said this today. This was something he said today in a uh in a I, I've never again another guy I haven't not, not met yet. Uh tell I shake a man's hand and speak to him myself. It's hard for me to say and I don't, I don't want to judge or, or make a comment on somebody I don't even know. I don't, I don't, Oh, by the way, oh, by the way. Do you think that he can inspire more NFL stars to probably come over and cross the line into the UFC? Athletes are athletes. Give them the proper time. Uh, they can make that change. Yeah, for sure. No doubt about that. I know we don't doubt that for a second. It's really an individual thing and, you know, Especially guys that have been at the highest level in one sport, it becomes difficult to check that ego and now go to the bottom of the heap and work their way back up in a new sport. That's a challenge. I, I had to do that in wrestling. Right. And that was a challenge. It was a big challenge. I could imagine, yeah. I mean, he, he's predicting a high future for himself. Yeah, he's, a, he's an amazing athlete. I will give him that. I'm hearing that Mayweather's people might be reaching out to Kanibi. To Khabib? Yeah, Khabib. I'm sorry, I always get his name wrong. It's a tough name. Reaching out to Khabib to try to get him to come over to boxing and fight him. I mean, what, what are your thoughts on that? How do you think... I think that both of those guys get boxing licenses and are then protected by the Muhammad Ali Act and the federal legislation that protects boxers from promoters like Dana White. Uh, that that will be a very, very nice thing and shed a light on exactly what's going on in mixed martial arts and how bad the fighters are being treated in mixed martial arts by guys like Dana White. That's what I think. Wow. Powerful, man. So, so Dana White mistreats a lot of these fighters? Dana White's a promoter. The bottom line is he's going to make money, and he's going to make money off of anybody he can make money off of. And that's why the Muhammad Ali Act in 1996 was formed, to protect boxers from guys like Don King and Bob Arum. And Dana White is filling those shoes. Oh, wow. So, 
we need to amend the Muhammad Ali Act of 1996 to include all combative sports athletes. And we all deserve the transparency and the protection of that federal legislation. Absolutely. And that's what I believe. That's great, man. Well, I appreciate your time, Randy. It's always a pleasure. Thank you so much, man. Randy, it's your neighbor, Brad, from YouTube. And it's always good to see you again. Thank you for your service in the U.S. Army. And, uh, Quick question. Dan Severn said he never punched anybody in the face till he went to UFC. He always wrestled if he got in a fight. What was your first actual, what's the first time you ever had to punch somebody? UFC 13. You'd never punched anybody before that in your whole life? I was in two street fights through my scholastic junior high and high school. Yeah. Okay, wow. I was never a fighter. I never got in trouble. Okay. fights. So, yeah, UFC was the Wow. First time. Yeah, awesome, man. It's always good to see you, champ. Thanks for your time, man. We appreciate you. Captain America, Randy Couture, the natural.